Rule number seven, transport vaccines safely. As you know, vaccines must be stored properly from the time they are manufactured until they are administered. The system used to maintain and distribute vaccines in optimal condition is called the cold chain. When a power failure or other emergency occurs that requires you to transport vaccines from one facility to another, you need to know the proper procedures for maintaining the integrity of the cold chain. All immunization providers should identify a backup or alternative location within reasonable proximity that can accommodate your entire vaccine inventory in the event of an emergency. You should also have sufficient packing and transporting supplies in stock to handle your entire vaccine inventory. When you transport your vaccines to the alternate location, avoid prolonged temperature extremes by transporting the containers inside vehicles and taking the quickest route possible. Never leave vaccine unattended. Let's begin with the packing supplies. You should pack refrigerated vaccine first and use the following materials. Use styrofoam coolers. Attach a vaccines do not freeze label to the cooler. Gather several cold packs. Do not use dry ice. It is no longer recommended to transport vaccines on dry ice as it can expose your vaccines to temperatures that are too cold. Prepare the appropriate thermometer by placing it in the refrigerator at least two hours before packing the vaccine. Gather enough bubble wrap or crumpled paper to create two inch layers between the vaccine and the cold packs. Not using enough bubble wrap or paper can cause the vaccine to freeze. Now let's walk through the packing procedures for refrigerated vaccine. Spread cold packs to cover the bottom of the cooler. Completely cover the cold packs with a two inch layer of bubble wrap or crumpled paper. Stack layers of vaccine boxes on the bubble wrap or crumpled paper. Then place a thermometer probe on top of the bubble wrap directly above a cold pack. You want to make sure the temperature probe is in the same area as the vaccine. Do not let the boxes of vaccine touch the cold packs. Next, completely cover the vaccine with another two inch layer of bubble wrap or crumpled paper. Spread cold packs to cover the bubble wrap or crumpled paper. Make sure that the cold packs do not touch the boxes of vaccine. Fill the cooler to the top with bubble wrap or crumpled paper. Place a the thermometer's digital display on top so it can be easily checked. As soon as you reach the destination site, check the vaccine temperature. If the vaccine is between 36 and 46 degrees Fahrenheit, put it in the refrigerator. If you find that the vaccine is 35 degrees or below, or above 46 degrees Fahrenheit, you need to label the vaccine, do not use. Then place the vaccine in the refrigerator, separate from the other vaccines, and contact your responsible entity immediately. Always keep vaccine properly stored until otherwise instructed by your state or local health department or the manufacturer. The CDC strongly discourages transport of varicella containing vaccines to off-site clinics. To maintain viability, the product must be stored frozen between minus 58 and five degrees Fahrenheit. However, if varicella containing vaccines must be relocated in an emergency situation, a transport container that maintains a constant temperature of less than five degrees Fahrenheit is the most ideal method. The manufacturer recommends that the vaccine not be transported on dry ice. Use of dry ice may subject vaccine to temperatures cooler than minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit it is recommended that you use a constant temperature transport container. These transport containers rely on coolant packs made of phase change material, or PCM, as a cold source. When used according to the instructions, this system can hold frozen vaccines within the proper temperature range for the short time it takes to transport the varicella vaccine 
during an emergency situation. To use the carrying case for frozen vaccine transport, follow these steps. First, place one pre-frozen coolant pack in the bottom of the case, keeping the pool tab up for easy removal later. Next, evenly distribute the vaccines on top of the pack to a depth of no more than two inches. Then, place a thermometer on top of the vaccines. Now, place the remaining packs on top of the vaccines, Again, being careful to keep the removal tabs up. Place a the thermometer's digital display on top so it can be easily checked. Make sure the container is labeled Fragile Vaccines, Keep Frozen. And also include the date and time the vaccine was removed from the permanent storage unit and placed in the transport case. If any of the vaccine you are transporting is exposed to a temperature above 5 degrees Fahrenheit, the manufacturer recommends calling their National Customer Service Center for stability data. Viability determination can be made on a case-by-case -case basis. Power failures and natural disasters can happen. But if you carefully follow the procedures just described, both your refrigerated and frozen vaccine inventory can be safely transported money can be saved, and your patients can continue to rely on you to provide a viable vaccine supply.